Well, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, makes an appearance in court wearing the same Fendi outfit. Well, this is contrary to the order made by Justice Bintan Yako that he be allowed to change the outfit before his next appearance in court. Justice Nyako of the Federal High Court of Abuja is presently hearing the application of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Indam Dukanu, challenging the propriety of his trial, as well as the competence of the charge against him. Now, Justice Bintan Yako had adjourned the hearing to February the 16th after Mr. Kanu pleaded not guilty to the amended 15 count charges brought against him by the federal government in which he was charged with terrorism-related offences. The prosecution counsel, Shraibu Labran, informed the court that the defense counsel had filed and served him with two applications, which had responded accordingly. He adds that the first application is seeking an order quashing the 15-count amended charge leveled against Mr. Kanu and the other one seeking his bail. A counsel to Namdi Kanu, Mr. Michael Zekome, however, complained bitterly that the DSS has vehemently refused to allow Mr. Kanu a change of clothes, contrary to a definite order of the court that he must be allowed to wear a new outfit. Mr. Zekome further adds that thrice, Kanu's younger brother has been refused access to the DSS facility where Mr. Kanu is being detained. Well, the lead counsel lamented that since Mr. Kanu was arrested and detained, his eyeglass was seized by the DSS and has since not been returned to him. He asked that his glasses be returned to him so he doesn't go blind. However, Justice Nyako said the complaint has been noted and directed Michael Zekome to proceed with the business of the day. At this juncture, Mr. Zekome said he has an application which basically seeks the quashing, striking out and dismissing of the 15-count amended charge against Namdi Kanu for being incompetent and denying the court of jurisdiction to entertain the 15-count amended charge. For well, the application, with 34 grounds and supported by a 36-paragraph affidavit, Mr. Michael Zekome said also, or also said that he seeks for an order acquitting and discharging Namdi Kanu for want of jurisdiction and effective, baseless and incompetent charges. Now, the matter has been adjourned to April the 8th to rule on Kanu's applications to quash the charge. Meanwhile, the DSS has said the clothes brought by Namdi Kanu's family had a lion heart drawn on it and that it offends their operating procedures. When asked by the judge the type of clothes he prefers to wear, Namdi Kanu said, quote, I want to wear the clothes of my people, Isiagu, but the court refused his request. Counter affidavits stating that they came on the wrong side of the law, and um, we take step to bring to the attention of the court the relevant provisions of the law that suggest that this charge is well founded and it is filed appropriately and filed at the right place and in accordance with the extant rule and the law that guides the procedure of this honorable court. And we hope and believe uh, this is one offense that is captured in the open space. It's proving all the counts in this charge requires no any effort. It is one charge that within the twinkle of an eye, if the trial is allowed to continue, it will be concluded within record time. And we are optimistic that this Honorable Court will do justice. And like I always say, this is just one of the several antics employed to delay criminal prior in Nigeria. But for this, we are ever ready to actually showcase that our criminal justice system is effectively working well. Time shall tell. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, it is. On the issue of the In 2015, when the trial first started, when the trial first started, in Amdi Kanu's glasses were seen, and they are still with the DSS. Till date, he has no glasses. So when he now ran abroad for his jail life, when the military invaded his home, at Afaranku Ibeko Umwahia in Abia State on the 14th of September 2017. He escaped by the whiskers of his hair. True, so he was just lucky. Don't forget that on that day, 28 unarmed civilians, innocent civilians, were gruesomely murdered. So he escaped. And as the person you are saying, jump bail. How does what you jump bail when? Instead of coming to court for trial, you voluntarily escape. But when you escape, 
when you run away from death, that cannot be jumping bay. Umlam the canoe would have died. So when he now went to London, where he's also a, a British citizen, he, he, he had another glass, which again was sealed from him and broken when he was captured in Kenya, like a common criminal, and forcefully renditioned to Nigeria. So today he has no glasses to use. So the court now has ordered the DSS to ensure that he gets his glasses.